there's the loop stick with the uh, core tuned to about 5 millihenries. There's two 30 picofarad high voltage mica capacitors. There's a full wave bridge made out of ultra fast 4007 rectifiers. There's a capacitor stack made of two 22 microfarad 250 volt caps in series. So that's uh, a 11 microfarads 500 volts. And that is a 470 volt Siemens spark gap type modem protector thing, surge protector, uh, designed to fire at 470 volts. And here's the Uquig. And uh, here I'm going to turn it on. I think. Okay. So there's the input with um, those uh, IRF 3205s. Here's the LED stack in there. But here's the interesting thing. Let's see if I can do this. camera's frame rate is not catching every spark, especially on the close-ups. Can you see that? So we're getting a 470 volt flash in that Siemens modem protector at a rate of about 1 hertz. And that does cost us some input. All right. Now this thing is dangerous. I've got to remember every time I use it to discharge the capacitor because when the modem protector shuts off, it doesn't get rid of all the charge. caps as well. All right, thanks for watching. And here's what it looks like uh, with just the, with an NE2 neon across there, which of course flashes at a much lower voltage. Is that showing up in there? Can you see those brilliant purple flashes? Oh, there, now it's on it has made itself a, uh, a resistive connection now, and so it glows without actually sparking. But there we can get uh, a little bit more, get an intermittent connection in there. And now we can see and hear. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. All right. Strikes that neon at a good 10, 15 centimeter distance there. All right, that's all.